Hi Stampers, I'm Meg from Loven Stamps and I know you've been waiting for it, the Takeout Treats project that features the actual box die. So here is our cute little box and I'll show you uh, this really close up here. All kinds of fun things and features the other stamps from the set which are really terrific complementing each other. The nice thing about this box is it's the perfect size for just a little bit of candy. You can fit some candy in there but you don't have to break the bank to fill like a ton of these or anything like that. So grab your um, Stamps and Mail Club kit and I will give you some tips for putting this box together and just getting it exactly aligned right so that it just folds up perfectly every time. So let's get stamping. Okay, so we're going to set our directions aside and pull out the pieces from our kit. And I'm going to start off with the box here, actually. So the dies for the takeout thinlets include this one um, half box die here. And this cuts this shape. And you're going to need two of them for each box. Or if you're getting stamps in the mail club, everything's um, die cut for you. But tear tape is a great adhesive for this. You want to have a really nice, strong adhesive. And I love that the tear tape is super easy. I don't have to grab my scissors or anything. Um, it just sticks on there. So you're going to put adhesive on the bottom that's going to go like this. And I'll show you how to attach here. So there's a pretty specific um, detail about lining these up. So when you are doing this, sometimes it helps if you're um, working on dark cardstock or if your space doesn't have great lighting, you can kind of uh, fold on those score lines. But you want the lines to be adjacent but not overlapping. So see how I've pinched this together so our uh, cardstock is right up against that score line? That is going to give us just um, the perfect uh, lineup for the rest of our box. Okay, so the next thing um, you want to do, you can put your adhesive on first or you can um, fold first, but don't forget to fold on all the score lines before you start to assemble because you want to get just um, nice creases exactly on the score lines that the die adds for you. And sure, you can, you know, like measure and cut your own boxes and stuff for things like this, but man, that die sure makes it easy. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and throw tear tape on. You want to keep the tear tape off of the um, box but if it goes over the edge of the lip that's okay and I'll show you what to do with that here in a second. So I'm just going to go around and add these four layers and if you want to stamp on the background here you can um, with the Blackberry Bliss ink you can almost see it, it depends on the light um, but I'm going to go ahead and start peeling these now because I've already folded. Uh, so pulling that off then if you did overlap, you can just fold that extra little tiny adhesive lip. Can you see it there? You can fold it back. And then this is going to line up on the inside there as we go around. So there's one side. Here's another side. If you're having trouble pulling the backing papers off, remember to fold up your overlapped adhesive so it doesn't stick to the candy inside. If you're having trouble pulling the backing papers off, um, it's no big deal. Just press harder and then that'll really secure the other side of the adhesive so that you can get the backing paper off simply and easily. Okay, And last side and we have our box. So really these are just a slam dunk as far as um, easy treats go. So there is the last side. Okay. And I have some um, other pictures on my blog if they're not posted yet. Be sure to check out the um, Spooky Treats Halloween boxes with these guys. I love this little box. So, okay, their last thing to do is to fold the tops in and then it's really easy actually if you just pull the flap um, up a little bit. They slide right together. So, okay, there you go. Real life stamping. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is take this piece of the ribbon, um, and there are a couple different kinds of ribbon that are a perfect match for this because they have that copper um, trim, so or the copper threads. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one and tie a bow on top. So there is, I mean, really, it's sweet already, right? But I think we need some decorations for the front. So we're going to take our magic die cut piece. This um, die is included in the set. Um, it'll be pre die cut for you with Stamps and Meal Club, but if you add the takeout thinlet dies, it's this one right here, and it makes these cute little layered banners, which are fun and super sweet. And then also this little tag, which is also included in there. And so that I'm going to use with my petal pink ink and go ahead and stamp a yum right on there. And then I'm going to stamp here on our um, 
hexagon shape. I'm going to ink this up and I find it easiest to stamp on these die cuts upside down. So I'm going to align up my paper and then just use a black to press that down so I get a really nice um, strong and lined up image. And then we have this sweet little candy image here and with Blackberry Bliss I'm going to just add sort of top, left, right, add some cute little candies there and then start to layer it all together. So put a strip of snail adhesive right there in the middle and actually it's probably easiest to line this up from this side. Okay, so now we have our banner, sort of like it's got a seatbelt. I don't know, I bet you could do something with like Santa's belts or something on there. And then I'm gonna add a piece of adhesive here on the back with our yum. Okay, and then we have this um, Tranquil Tide ribbon, which is a great match also for Bermuda Bay. It fits well um, with mint macaron. It's a really pretty and nice um, nice color. It's just really well color matched, so the color values fit with a lot of different things. Um, so I wouldn't be scared off if you're like, oh, I don't know if I love Tranquil Tide. Um, this velvet ribbon is perfect. Uh, for lots of different color matches and schemes. So we're going to put a piece on here. I've just tied it um, simply there. And then uh, really you want to use uh, mini glue dots, which I happen to have here in a box. Could you tell that I totally cut the video and I had to go look for my mini glue dots? <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to pop one on the back there, and then I'm actually going to pop, I'll show you a trick when you do this kind of bow with the mini glue dots. If you put one on each side of the bow where the bow, um, where the ribbon is flat against the element, it'll really help to hold that. There we go. Especially with the velvet, where this one's trying to stick to the velvet um, in a place that's pretty hard to grab, um, then this is good. And I'm going to turn it this way so our big piece goes down, and I'm going to cover up that little hole. Okay, so pretty cute element. And then we have our um, pieces to put on here. So I'm going to grab some Stampin' Dimensional and pop this on the back here. And pop this onto our box. There we go. And then last thing we need, like, well, it doesn't need anything. It's super cute the way it is. But little uh, extra embellishment. I'm going to um, grab my Take a Pick tool and pull off the um, little pearls that are remaining from this strip here that was included um, with project number one and add those to my box. So there is our finished little yum box. So really cute um, treat, a nice way to present uh, some goodies that you want to give to somebody. And of course you can do this um, as favors to match for a wedding or a birthday party or um, a shower, baby shower, just match them to the colors of your occasion and uh, you can make these for pretty much anything. So all kinds of cute little treats can fit in here and if you need to know the finished box size, let's see, I can measure it for you very briefly. It's uh, two inches tall and then the base is one and a quarter inches here by one and a half inches here. So kind of gives you an idea and then it's um, wider at the top so all right let me know if you have any questions if you'd like to request a stamps the mail club kit to make your project this month i may still have some available be sure to visit my website at lovenstamps.com and check that out and i'd be happy to get a kit to you in the mail so happy stamping and i look forward to sharing more projects with you soon thanks for watching